Hey guys, it's Ken Jacobs here once again. Um, today I wanted to shoot a quick video on this uh, C service host uh, .exe file error. We've been getting a lot of uh, support requests and help tickets and such regarding this particular file error. So um, I thought I'd make a video and I also made a post on my blog just uh, walking you through exactly how to get it fixed. Um, if you click the link below the video, you can go to the blog and kind of follow along with the step-by-step -step on how to fix it. Um, this uh, CC service host.exe it works to display the um, graphical elements of Norton products. Um, usually includes like uh, Norton security suites and uh, products uh, in that security um, suite. Uh, if the CC service host.exe file encounters a problem, then the Norton uh, GUI will only be displayed after the computer has been rebooted. Um, it can be really a pain in the butt. Chances are that if you're getting uh, any of these um, CC SVC HST.exe messages, um, then the problem um, is not necessarily with the Norton program, but it's more with your registry allowing these different uh, files to talk to each other. Uh, the you're generally going to see these C service host uh, or CC service host exe errors. Um, identify themselves in one of several ways. You may get a file not found, or the program requires the file but it was missing, or the exe is missing, anything like that. You may get something completely different um, because it's it's Microsoft and they're displaying messages so they can make it as cryptic as possible. Um, but what you want to look for is if you see the, the ccsvchst.exe anywhere in your error message then you're pretty certain that it's a registry problem I mean of course your message could be different but if you're seeing that specific exe uh, and it that is what is documented in the error that you're getting then we know it's registry um, in order to fix this um, I created a post on my blog where I walk you through the step-by-step -step on just how to get it fixed it's actually not that difficult it should only take you about five or ten minutes um, if you can just follow the steps and do as I as I walk you through um, it doesn't require much technical knowledge and um, it's really just following the steps and doing it so if you click the link below you'll go to the blog post where you can you can follow those steps and get this fixed um, as I said before it should only take you about ten minutes and then you should be back on the road computer working good um, if you have any questions as always shoot me an email or shoot me a private message or something like that get in touch with me I will do what I can to uh, to help you out and walk you through it, but I don't anticipate you having any problems. Um, as I said, I made it very straightforward. So um, if this helps, leave us a comment or something like that, letting us know, um, and I'll continue uh, making videos and blog posts regarding file errors and uh, and things like that that help you get your computer running good. All right, thanks. Bye.